We start with a point. So we're talking about augmented reality, and uh, augmented reality comes uh, first of all from the word virtual reality, which uh, of course is something that's been around for 20 years or so. Uh, the background we're looking at here uh, might be an example of a virtual reality if I were somehow now uh, able to move around through this space. Uh, what we're looking at was uh, created by a, a YouTube channel user uh, by the name of New and Then new in them I guess it is and uh, the name of this video is end of tunnel we're using as the background here today but uh, today's video blog goes like this I believe I was first introduced to the concept of augmented reality by author William Gibson in his 1994 novel virtual light although that's not what he called it back then what's augmented reality it's like virtual reality but it's overlaid on the real world in virtual light, a stolen pair of glasses contains secret architectural plans for a remodeling of San Francisco, and someone wearing these glasses can walk down the street, look around at buildings, and see the plans superimposed over the existing structures. With his 2007 novel Spook Country, Gibson developed the idea much further into a technology-driven innovation called locative art in which location-specific 3D art displays could spring up at any time, anywhere. Gibson called it geohacking, but augmented reality would be another good term for what he's describing. Last blog entry, we talked about the renewed interest in the idea that our universe is really a four-dimensional shadow of a five-dimensional hologram which we are moving within. This time around, we're going to lighten up and have some fun with some creative new toys that allow us to play with our reality using nothing more than a webcam, a web browser, and a piece of paper with a shape printed on it. This is augmented reality. Now, augmented reality has been around for a while, and not just in the mind of visionaries like William Gibson. There's a news story from two years ago that uh, we're looking at right now that shows some of the groundbreaking work that has been done back then. And uh, the projects shown in the video we're looking at now are interesting, but they still required proprietary hardware and software to work their magic. What I find really interesting are the developments in the last few months that now let any of us play with this technology at home with no special software programs to install. Now, last month, uh, in December 2008, three German auto magazines had an ad on the back cover which gave you a free mini cabrio. And uh, so the video we're looking at now is of somebody playing with that. They just took the ad uh, from the back of the magazine, held it up to their webcam, and then there was their free automobile right there on top of the back of the magazine. Now that's definitely a step forward, but unfortunately that campaign worked only on PCs running Internet Explorer with ActiveX. If that's what you have, and lots of people do, and you want to try making this one work for yourself, I do provide the link back uh, to that in the text version of this blog. Uh, the link that uh, you want to type in if you're uh, just doing it yourself is technobob.com gives you a link to that. Now where things really get interesting is people are now figuring how to play the same tricks using Flash as the interface which makes it compatible with almost all modern computers. Uh, there's a video that we're looking at now it's called Augmented Reality from Botswana, and it's surprisingly easy to get this animated green monster to appear right on the table in front of you. And if you want to play with it, uh, the link uh, again is in the text blog. Uh, Boffswana.com is uh, where you need to go to. And uh, I'll get to Jason to just uh, run that text uh, across the screen there. Now, let's look at an even stranger looking implementation of the same idea. Uh, what we're looking at now is New Year's Greetings 09 from AID DCC Inc. and Katamari Inc. in Japan. And this one really fired my imagination the first time I saw it work. Uh, doesn't it look like fun? Now, if you go to your website and try this one out for yourself, it would probably help if you speak Japanese. But if not, you just have to click on the yellow rectangle that appears in the lower part of the window beneath a drawing of a fellow holding a piece of paper in front of his computer webcam setup. I did find this site loads correctly sometimes and gets hung up other times. If you don't get to that yellow rectangle, just try refreshing the screen and come back later. By the way, the 3D part of these last couple of links that we've been looking at here is created with PaperVision 3D. 
And uh, there's a link that uh, I give in the text blog to the Paper Vision 3D blog. And a further discussion uh, is also in that one of how to get to the Happy New Year 09 augmented reality trick that we're looking at. Now, playing with these augmented reality toys at home with your webcam is fun, but the possibilities get even further out when you use this technology with the new generation of smartphones. Uh, so now we're looking at a movie showing a 3D virtual pet that you can interact with on your iPhone. And here is now is an augmented reality game called Tower Defense, which works on the Nokia N95 phone, another one of the modern generation of smartphones. And finally, uh, here's just a brief look at a creepy augmented reality game for the N95, which has you hunting through your house to find the ghosts that are hiding there. Now, these are innovations that have just come to light in the last couple of months, and I'm sure there are many more creative and mind-boggling innovations on their way. Augmented reality holds lots of exciting promise, and I can't wait to see what's coming up next. And speaking of next, the next video in this series is called The Shaman. My name is Rob Bryanton from the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Enjoy the journey. Hi friends, just a reminder that you can now buy a 6 DVD set of my video blogs at tenthdimension.com slash store.